All right, I've had a run in with. <laughs> with a couple of, you know, people, people that were pros. Yeah. And they were a little off, bro. <laughs> Yo. They were very off. You're talking like, about Brian Pumber? No, no, no. Oh, oh, but but it fucking could be. That, no, no, no. That's, that that was the actual situation. You know, Brian <laughs> Pumper stole his song, right? No, he didn't steal the song. He said something funny in an interview. I, that was my interview. Right. Yes. And then Wait, somehow, what? somehow a long arm came out and just got him to apologize. And, I know that. You know, but shout out to Brian. Like, you know, he he, he realized he was wrong for just talking. Because like he that. took something from you. It was a bar. Was, no, no, it wasn't something he took. It was somebody brought me up in an interview. And that he was, was me. like, right. And he was like, I don't know who that is. Like, uh, because he, t- he, he just said some he, crazy listen, shit. Listen, he jacked some, one of your songs. He took a line. But you, okay, you brought it up. Yeah, because, and I said, why'd you take Math Hoffa's line? Yeah. And he's like, fuck Math Hoffa. I said, you don't want to do that, bro. And, and then that's when Jack was like, you're going to die, nigga. <laughs> 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 and then you see his eyes go. And then he's like, can you please tell Math, don't kill me? I said, Nah, nah, yeah. nah, but it, it, this, it, it wasn't that stuff. crazy, but it was yes, just it was. like, yo, <laughs> yes, it was. I, I don't think any of us should be disrespecting people we don't know. Absolutely. Mm. And he came to that conclusion, and then he made, an, a, he made like a video rectifying the situation yeah, while a chick was like giving him. <laughs> yeah. He's like, my bad, man. He's like, yo, man, yo, shout out to man. man. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, we, I, don't try, you know, I said some crazy, da, da, da. It was wild. I it was mean, on World Star. Yeah. It was on World Star. That was nice. That's a hell of a way to apologize. Yeah. yeah he was, was scared for his yeah, life. It is. Not at but, that moment. But do you wasn't... find, like, most of the women that, that you meet in that lifestyle, are they, are they all the way there? Mm. I mean, honestly, I kind of came into porn thinking that the chicks were going to be more fucked up than they ended up being. But then also, I feel like nowadays, a lot of the chicks who are really winning just have like a straight up like hustler mentality. They're very much about their business. They're not getting fucked up on drugs and stuff. So when we do have a girl who comes through, I remember we had this one girl who was just like blatantly off her face, off Adderall or meth or some shit, you know? Yeah. And it was such a weird throwback because I'm so used to dealing with chicks who are professional. And also like we're shooting at like 2, 3 p.m. So I mean, if you're fucked up, Seems wow! Kind of yeah, out yeah, of the ordinary yeah, yeah. to right. me, you know. Like you didn't even wait. If we were shooting at ten and you were drunk, I mean, I get it. But like, yeah. you know, uh, that's always kind of surprising. But no, nah, honestly, I feel like most of the girls. I mean, porn definitely like houses a lot of weird ass chicks right. and dudes for sure. But I don't know. A lot of the girls, a lot of the girls are girls who are just hot. They don't want to fucking have a job. They don't want to like fucking you know have to go do some bullshit every day. They're kind of a lot of them are kind of like isolationists where they don't necessarily kick it with that many people. And a lot of them kind of end up reminding me of like, like, I don't know, the types of dudes I hang out with who like are not really trying to like fit into a box of like, you know, going and doing a nine to five every day and shit like that where, I don't know. And like the, the porn dudes I know, they're like exactly like the fucking drug dealers I know where they're just rolling around town, just shooting content, just getting a little bag with all these different girls over and over and over. And I'm like, you know, shit, I respect it. I wish I figured that hustle out earlier. Well, how much Viagra I don't do it. is involved in this whole shit? Oh, in general, I think a lot. Like, I think a lot of people fuck with that shit, but I never did it. You never did it? No. I'm right, scared. Would, would you say it? If I did? When you said yeah, you're yeah, scared? Yeah. Why are you scared? You know oh, it kills no. cancer. I just yeah. feel like... It I kills feel, COVID, too. I feel like I'm, COVID, I'm COVID, doing really good. Yeah, was COVID. Was say, don't go with me on the cancer <laughs> thing. Cut that out. Yeah. Don't quote uh, him on the COVID uh, thing, either. I'm doing good, and I don't feel like I want to I play with the... The with remedy the that I got gone. Dan Bilzerian was just trying to convince me to get on steroids. I'm like, I want to mess with my scenario, bro. I feel like I'm, I'm in a good place right now. Right. With my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, was it because of how Kevin Samuels went out that may put the fear in you too? Because they said it was, uh, you know, whatever he mixed. Really? Yeah. I heard them talking about the Red Bull, but I didn't think. Uh, the Red Bull mixed with one of the pills and then. Oh, phew. really? Oh, yeah. I don't know. And then, I didn't hear that. Yeah. That's crazy. I didn't hear that. That's I knew he was sipping those Red Bulls, though. Yeah, he was he sipping those with, during the show. He had one of... I didn't yeah, the I sex didn't. pills definitely attack your heart, so, you know. I yeah, you got to be able to handle that shit. I figured that. I didn't hear that story, but when I heard the story of him dying after he was with the girl, I figured that it had something to do with a sex pill. I yeah. did. But the Red Bull thing was weird to me because, like, I mean, I drink a couple coffees, cups, cups of coffee a day. Mm-hmm. I feel like most dudes I know do. 
I don't like feel like anybody's dropping dead from it. Is a fucking Red Bull that much worse? It's yeah, excessive. Red Bull. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he, excessive. I think yeah. you compound it. Yeah, right. Mm. Exactly. And at watching his show, he, he was drinking like he three to four. He always he, he, had he like two or three. Drink. The doctor tell you that. Yeah. yeah. And I had I had one years ago, and my my best friend. I just ran up to him and was trying to go over something with him, and he was like, "Yo, are you are you all right? Like, the fuck is wrong with you?" I didn't think I was doing anything strange. He was like, yo, you're talking a mile a minute, you mm. keep fidgeting, and I, this is one can, and I just, mm. it just tasted all right. I was like, oh, You're just cool. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you don't know. I'm like, yeah, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, let's, I mean, let's move it. He was like, yo, yeah, he yeah. kept doing this. And I started getting annoyed, because we got to hurry the fuck up. Right. But meanwhile, he's like, yo, you, like, you want to yeah, sit down? You, like, you're tripping. He's worried about me. Right. That's one can. Mm. This dude, Kevin Samuels, you watch his show, he's going through, like, he's, he might have, like, two him. or three of them a night. Like, that shit is, just watching it, I was like. And the wrong sex pill, the sex, the ones that's not natural, you know, that's the one that directly attacks your heart. You got to use, like, So, the, So the which ones are the safe ones? Does, every, does anybody know? The honey. The honey? The honey? Yeah, I know about that, honey, don't you? You know about this! You know about this! <laughs> yeah, right there, yeah, yeah. Oh, right on the street. No, the honey is safe. The honey, nah, and what's the other that, one? The horny goat matter, weed? Though, horny know, goat weed. I've seen, I've seen that package. Weed. No, what was, what was Adam, Junior like, Reed talking about? I never did it. Yeah. Junior Reed was talking about, he said, uh... uh yeah, what, what, what was the thing that Junior Reed uh, said? Oh, it's... Root, 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 root ale? Root? Root ale, something like that? Root... Roots wine. Roots. A roots, roots wine. wine. Yeah. Roots wine. Yeah. Roots wine. It's not like a bottle that they sell. You gotta go with somebody who makes that. Uh, All right. Well, you know, Coquito. There you go. It's Coquito for Jamaicans. There you go. That's wild. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just guessing. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just guessing. Be careful with your heart, kids. The, the yeah, girls, the main thing I'm taking. The girls me. that be involved in this. How many of them? Cause this is something I always wonder, you know. How many of them are like um, that you might notice, like might be sexual victims? Yeah. Mm. Mm. I wonder, cause like I feel like a lot of them probably wouldn't say it on an interview or whatever, because they feel like it's not hot or whatever. They yeah. don't really want to get into something that serious on camera. You yeah. definitely hear about it, but yeah. you know it's definitely a good percentage for sure. But nowadays, especially, I feel like girls just see the bag. They see and they're, the money. Yeah. They're totally well adjusted. They're totally like normal fucking girls that anyone would be able to get along with. And they just are like, oh, I can make six figures a month. Right. Fuck all this other shit. I'm just yeah. gonna do that, you know? They got so many. They they can go and seek an arrangement. Oh yeah. That that's a big thing right there. But, but the are, are, have you ever done a scene with a girl, but you had a conversation with her before? And like during the scene, you're like, Yo, she's fucked up, man. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. I'm kind of adding to this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm adding to it. <laughs> nah, because how can my dick not do anything but make it better? <laughs> right. I can't make it worse. <laughs> Yo! You know? Oh, God. Like, what's my dick going to do to <laughs> If you hit the yeah, right wall, so. she gonna be like, and then sit on the edge of the bed and have a flashback. Now see, how come you didn't ask him how that was, if that was a real moment or not? That sounded like- Oh, that was straight <laughs> That was your open. That was your open, you should've took it. Was that a real moment? Like five times. Wow, okay, all right, cool. They what, know, for, me, was taboo. for me, I spent a whole night being a psychiatrist yes. in one of these chicks. That's the after effect. Mm -hmm. I had to, yeah. And, and then when we have eventually got to that, that was my thought. I'm like, yo, I'm kind of fucked up no. for this. But, you, but you she likes to win it. it. But she likes it. But you know, uh, Bigger said something about, you know, whatever. women being, you know, have, going through that. Mm -hmm. Another thing that's taboo, a lot of those women are being molested by other women. A lot more than dudes. A lot of girl, yo, aunts. What? Way more than uncles. What? No, least... women are molesting yes. the women. Yes. That's the young... her, yeah, that's I'm telling you. That's it's brand, a high that's brand new. I didn't know yeah, about I, that. I didn't know that no, It's no, very taboo, he's not, but... He's not lying. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. A, a, a lot of times they think it's an uncle or a stepdad. It'd be... It's another woman. It'd be a step-aunt, an aunt. It's hot for hot trap, trap, and 
from smack rapper Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers I'm in the hood with the work you heard Making fiends leave earth you heard Got your baby mama thirst you heard Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse This the way you need to surf you heard